Uh, we believe, of course, and anticipate that as children in school today face the 21st and the 22nd centuries, they're going to be confronted with problems the answers to which are not immediately known. We have but to look around the world today and see problems with the environment, problems with social relationships and using terrorism, for example, as a means of settling problems, uh, resorting to wars. Uh, we have to see the, uh, we have but to look at the financial crisis that the world is facing. And we realize that children today are going to be saddled with those problems and they're going to be the problem solvers of the future. And so the question is, what kinds of skills and knowledge will equip them to confront uh, that kind of a world with those kinds of problems and to not only survive but also contribute to the solution of those problems? Surely they're going to have to think flexibly. They're going to have to learn how to communicate with each other. They're going to have to learn how to use clear and precise language, even perhaps when the language is not of their own. They're going to have to persist. They're going to have to continue to solve problems over time and uh, to, to stick with problems over a long period of time before they are resolved. They're going to need to think interdependently in a global environment. And uh, so the children today, um, in order to survive, in order to be productive, are going to need to have these kinds of skills to solve the problems in their future.